Hey guys, it's Matt Higgins. In this video, I want to talk about the importance of Shmi Skywalker and how she affected Anakin's life. First, let's go into the background information and the family tree. Shmi Skywalker was born into slavery in 72 BBY on Tatooine. Around 41 BBY, Shmi gave birth to Anakin Skywalker, who was conceived by Metachlorians and was destined to bring balance to the Force. Prior to being owned by the Toydarian parts dealer Watto, the Skywalkers were owned by Gardula the Hutt. Gardula ended up losing the Skywalkers to Watto in a bet. Anakin remained under the services of Watto until he was freed by Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn, after he discovered the boy was Force-sensitive. Qui-Gon was unable to free his mother though, and Anakin had to make the hard choice to leave her to become a Jedi. Anakin would not see his mother again until almost a decade after his departure. He found her under the captivity of the Tusken Raiders who had tortured her. As she died in his arms, Anakin's rage could not be contained and he proceeded to slaughter every single Tusken Raider in the camp. Shmi is, canonically, the oldest Skywalker on the family tree, but she is related by blood to the other Skywalkers including Luke, Leia, and Leia's son Ben Solo. It is made obvious that Anakin was very closely attached to his mother. This makes sense as Shmi is the only person who offered any love to Anakin. Growing up as a slave, Anakin resented most he interacted with. Watto was a fairer slave owner compared to others on Tatooine, and he had enough respect for his slaves to house and furnish them. However, slaves were still treated as lesser beings. Growing up when viewed as property is very damaging to the psyche and would affect Anakin's behavior throughout his life. His mother, meanwhile, taught him selflessness and respect for others. We see this when Anakin offers to give away his winnings for the pod race to Qui-Gon without hesitation. Despite his mother's protection, some seeds of the dark side were planted as his desire for revenge was against what the Jedi stood for. Many years after Anakin was brought to Coruscant, his skills as a Jedi had grown enormously. The other Padawans had become jealous of him and even taunted him for being a slave. Being a slave once was still something that had tormented him even after he was free. Two good examples of this are seen in the Obi-Wan and Anakin comic and the Zygerian arc from the Clone Wars. Mentioning his enslaved past enraged Anakin, drawing him closer to the dark side. But before he could do anything rash, he would remember what his mother taught him, and she would bring him back to the light. However, when Anakin felt that his mother was in danger through the Force, he immediately dropped all sense of loyalty to his mission. He had to go and find his mother. When Anakin had discovered her fate, he was first happy to have found Shmi, but that all changed. His mother died right there in his arms. Anakin's one true possession was his mother's love and now that had been taken away from him. His sadness had turned into intense anger, and now every time he thought of his mother, instead of drawing him back to the light, it had plunged him ever further into the darkness. The restraints on Anakin's dark side were released, and the seeds of the dark side within him had germinated. This all culminated in the mass slaughter of the Tusken Raiders, the savages who took everything away from him. He would not stop until he had killed every single one of them. The memories of his mother that kept him within the light were now painful and could no longer help him stay in the light. Anakin turned to his other connections like Padme and Obi-Wan. They partially filled the void where his mother was, but they were not strong enough as Palpatine began to erode away everyone he loved. This is why Shmi was so important as a character. She was the only thing that could protect Anakin from Palpatine's pool. And once she was removed, there was no stopping Anakin's fall to the dark side. So that's about it, guys. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, and subscribe for more prequel-related content, including lore, discussions, as well as anything canon about the prequel trilogy. Thanks, guys, and may the Force be with you, always.